Hey, it's Linda Winter with Winter Designs and Martelli Enterprises. I'm going to tell you about the Virtual Expo. I'm so excited to be a part of it this year. This is 2018, and this is a little overview. I've got additional videos that you're going to go watch when you have some time, but I want to tell you what I'm going to be doing that's brand new. I've got a bunch of stuff that's new, and I've got some old that I've kind of added on to. So, if you all don't know me, Martelli makes this get a grip material, this stuff here for our templates. And you can see how it grabs the fabric. So when we go to cut and cut and cut and cut, you notice what I'm doing. I'm turning the fabric, not my body, not getting in some weird position. So Martelli made this stuff and then I decided I wanted to have my own line too. So winner, opposite of loser, winnerdesigns.com. That's my website and that's where you'll have my templates where you'll be able to see some other videos that I have as well on my YouTube channel. Linda videos is what you would search for. So I want to tell you about the virtual expo. This theme, my theme this year is let's get cozy. So it is here in the summertime in Florida and it is miserable hot, I'm sweating. And I'm trying to think about the idea of getting cozy. So let's talk about Christmas and Thanksgiving and fall and nicer, cooler weather. So I want you to think about getting cozy in the kitchen, cozy with some projects, cozy sewing. So grab a cup of joe, put on your comfy pajamas, sit back and watch some of my videos. So the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is cozies my microwave bowl cozies. Some of y'all know my microwave bowl cozies. I made a 10 inch, that's a layer cake. I made a 10 and a half inch, that's your standard bowl. I made a 12 and a half inch, that's your typical dinner plate. And then I made a 15. This is great for Pyrex bowls and for potato bags and um, for um, coffee pots and all kinds of stuff. So really cool stuff. I'll show you some projects with those in a few minutes. But I've had a lot of requests for smaller ones. So I made a nine and a half. I made an eight and a half. I made a seven and a half and I made a five and a half. Why? Well, some of you want things like a cup cozy. This guy here, when you're sitting with a glass of wine, a bottle of, you know, or um, Diet Coke or coffee or milk or whatever, this is gonna keep this from getting on your nice dining room table or if it's something that leaks or whatever, it's not gonna be sweaty. So we're gonna put it in here. So this little guy here, that's perfect as a cup cozy. That's a six and a half. I have a seven and a half, I have an eight and a half, I have a nine and a half, I have a 10, a 10 and a half, 12, 15. So you can see those there. So I don't wanna spend a lot of time here going through these because I have a video that's gonna show you how to do these and do a bunch of other projects. What I do wanna show you though, really quickly to entice you to go watch that video is, not only does it do the cozies, but it also does mug rugs. Here's a little plate, a little plate, a little plate cozy, a bigger plate cozy. Uh, um, if you're gonna to go to like one of those cookie exchange parties that I did last year, then you can do your cookies on here. You can make a potato bag, I'll show you how to do that. And then this goes under your coffee pot. So I'm, I'll show you how to do all those things in my other videos. I've got two videos for you, so you'll get to see those projects there. I'm gonna pull some things out and show you something that my friend Nancy came up with. Thank you, Nancy, this was such a great idea. Nancy has a microwave bowl that's, or microwave that's up high, so she wanted to make one with handles. And she asked me to do it, and I said, you make the idea, and I'll make the template. So this template is my two by 14. She did two by 12. I like the idea of two by 14. This has actual inch markings. I'll have a video that'll show you more on that as well. But what's so great about the handles is when you're putting it up high in a high microwave, you've got the two handles so you don't have to worry about it spilling. When you're taking it out, you don't have to worry about it spilling. But what I love about that is that it works with a big bowl it works with a lower big bowl, but it also works with smaller bowls too. So this doesn't have to be quite as precise as when you're doing these guys here. These, I really do want it to cradle. If you look at this, this kind of cradles this. And in my video, I'm gonna show you how to determine which microwave bowl cozy you need. We're basically gonna measure from here all the way down to here and add two inches. And then that would be the size of the template that you'd wanna use. But back to Nancy, so the idea of the handles. I love the idea of the two handles, but I'm kind of lazy, so I got away with the one handle. You can see here I've got a pie pan. It works for that. It works for something bigger. It works for those nicer banana nut loaf breads. So the idea is this guy here with the handle really does some cool stuff. So what I'm going to do is throw these down because I want to show you a few other things. 
We're going to put that on the floor. Okay. I'm going to put these out of the way. Watch my videos on the microwave bowl cozies. I have two videos because I've got a lot to show you. By the way, I didn't spend a lot of time in the videos talking about pens because the holes that are here, these holes give us perfect darts. That's what's so cool about this. But I've had a lot of people emailing me, what kind of pen do I use? I don't want to use a chalk pencil. That's not going to stay. And I don't want to use a Sharpie. Why? The Sharpie goes typically through your mat and ruins your mat. And also it might show through your fabric too. This pen here, it's kind of those clickers. I don't recommend those because they don't always sit in there nice and tight. Instead, the kind that you get from the Dollar Tree, the kind that you get from a hotel, the big pens. These guys, when they go in here, you can see there's a whole lot of clearance there. And that gives you the ability to put a little mark there. So if you're asking about pens, the big pens, those pens that you've got at the hotels, if you grab them like I do, they work great. Okay, so cozy. We're now gonna talk coffee cozy. In the video, I've got a video that I'll show you on my coffee cozies. I already have two videos, but I came out with something new. This guy here is the shape of the coffee cozy that we put around our coffee cups, our uh, different um, glasses, those kinds of things. But what I really wanted to do was to be able to do these kinds of designs a little bit better. I can't see what I'm doing here. My videos, I tell you to fold in half on the design and kind of estimate, forget it. Now we're gonna do this. This guy here, and I don't know how well you can see this, but I can look and see. Now I'd have it in front of me so I could see it. But do you see how I can center, and I wouldn't have all this stuff on my table either, but do you see how I can center the design? The video that I have on the Coffee Cozies, I'm gonna spend more time on how to do this, because there are lots of tips and tricks that I'm gonna give you about what you think you know versus what you really need to know. This goes down, this goes inside, then I pop the fabric, that lets me remove this, and now when I cut and cut and cut and cut, fussy cut and without the fussing. So I have a fussy cut frame that goes with the coffee cozy. If you already have the coffee cozy, you'll be able to buy this separately. I'll also give you a bundle where you get a better price on the two of these. You can still buy this by itself too. But the idea is now I've got that coffee cozy. So with the fussy cut. So I've got a video that's gonna be um, available after the 14th which is coming up real shortly on the Coffee Cozy. Then the eight inch circle. I have a bunch of videos on the eight inch circle. I love this circle. It does all kinds of cool stuff. But when I have a design like this, we're gonna again look to see. You notice this isn't so much of a circle. This lets me decide, do I even wanna do this design or not? If I want to, I may even go do something like that and add something up here. But the idea is, when I have this here and this goes inside, I pop, and again, that's gonna give me fussy cutting. I make an eight inch circle, I have a 10 inch circle, I'm introducing an 11 inch circle, I have a 12 inch circle, I have a five, I have a five and a half. I've got a bunch of sizes, which means I have a bunch of these too. So you can buy this and this separately. You can buy the, or buy it as a bundle or you can buy this separately too. And then I have bundles on the circles as well. So there's a bunch of things there for fussy cutting. Okay, cozy. Now we're gonna go into the pot pincher. I have a lot of videos showing you different microwave bowl cozies, but I also have pot holders. Well, this is a new one. This is a pot pincher. You guys have seen these on the internet. You may even have made these. What I want to do is show you how easy it is to make with this template. So I have a video on this as well. There are markings on here. You can't really see, but this is your halfway mark. There's a cutting line. There's a cutting line. There's a halfway mark. There's a halfway mark. So that allows me to go in and kind of look at my fabric and decide what it is that I want to do with this. So I'll walk you through the process of making these. This is a pot pincher. The pot pincher lets you do some other things too. If you think about doing this as a little coin purse and adding a zipper here, so this is a side seam down here and then we have a zipper up here. So I've got a video that'll show you how to do those as well. So the pot pincher is brand new. Let's get that out of the way. The coffee cozy, by the way, this is a traditional, traditional coffee cozy. I'll be showing you different ways to finish this off. I'll be showing you what to do here. You'll see some examples. I wanna show you this though, because these guys here, these are stencils. I love the idea of crafting as well as sewing, so I've got stencils for you. These stencils, I'm gonna show you these here. Coffee before talkie, here's a coffee cup, and then I don't do mornings. The reason why I'm showing you this will come up later on, so we'll get to that. Hey, Philip, tell me how many minutes we are on the video. Nine minutes and 40 Ooh. seconds. Okay, so I wanna hurry up because I gotta get this under 15 minutes. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, so what I wanna do is show you a few other things. Ooh, I got a glass. 
I don't want to break that. Okay, I want to show you a few other things that I've got as well. So Martelli has Christmas stockings, so we're really getting cozy for the holidays. Martelli has Christmas stockings, and we filmed a video, and you got to see, maybe if you've been to Martelli's YouTube, you got to see part of the video that we filmed. I'm going to upload the whole video. There's a whole lot more. This one, I think I talked about it in the video. Maybe you saw it, but you didn't see all that I wanted you to see. This method, not so much just this style. This is the dog paw. This is the burlap on the large size. We also have another one that's an elf stocking. It's really a cute stocking. But it's not the size that I'm going to be showing you. It's the technique. It's super fast. It's super easy. It's called the magic stocking. Now, I don't know how many, stock, how many stockings you've made, but this is super fast, super easy. So I'm going to show you that video on YouTube. And it's long, so be prepared. But I'm going to show you a whole bunch more things that you might not have seen if you watched that Martelli video that we did. So it's kind of not unedited, but almost. So it's going to be really long with a whole bunch of other things in there as well. Then I'll have either written directions or a video. I haven't done it yet, and I haven't figured out when I'm going to get it done, but this guy here. So what I've got here is the traditional Christmas hat, but we've added box plates on the bottom. We basically cut that off and now it becomes a little purse because we've added handles. Okay, so let me get all this out of the way and I want to show you the big thing. All right, so some of you guys know about my giveaways that I do in December. This year it's November, but I'm going to do a giveaway for this webinar as well for the expo. So this is the giveaway that I have. So we're getting cozy. It's fall. These guys here, they're going to be in there. The coffee cozy and the fussy cut, they're going to be in here as well. You can't really see what's in here and I'm not going to pull it out in this video. I'll have a video on this, but it's got a bunch of goodies. You can make s'mores. I've got the little sock monkey. I've got all little kinds of things. We're going to get cozy. There's a bunch of stuff for the coffee cozies. There's a bunch of stuff for coffee. There's a Martelli NyQuil t-shirt. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So the giveaway is going to be lots of fun. I'm going to be giving this to one person. I'll have the directions for you on Facebook. I'll have the directions for you on YouTube. I'll take all this stuff out and show you that. And then I'll have everything on my website too. My website is winnerdesigns.com, www.winner, winner, opposite the loser, designs.com, designs with an S. My YouTube is youtube.com forward slash Linda videos. And my Facebook. If you go to Facebook, you can search for Winter Designs for Sewing and, and that's that ampersand, not the word and. So Winter Designs for Sewing and, and I should pop up by that time. If I don't, the whole title is quilting, for sewing and quilting. Or if you go to www.facebook.com forward slash Linda Winter Designs, you'll be able to find me. I have lots of information on my website, on my Facebook, and I'll film a video on YouTube as well. Everything's going to go live on the 14th, so be sure to check out all my stuff. I'm so glad you guys are watching. I hope you have a great time with the expo, and thanks for hanging out with me for however much time in your pajamas and getting cozy. Thanks.